Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video, we are basically going to talk about how can we set our offline events or how can we upload offline events to Facebook ad system using different third party tools, right? Or we also call it as through different partner integrations, right? So this is what we are going to explore or learn in this particular video. So before actually starting this video, I would like to request you to please do subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you do not miss any one of the upcoming digital marketing related video, right? So, so far we know that uh, uh, if we have any CRM with us or if we have any list of uh, different events, uh, uh, events audience that th those events which actually happened offline, right? We can upload those events into our Facebook ad system manually, right? Note it, manually we, we can upload those events and then we can map uh, those events with the existing data which is there in Facebook ad system. So, whatever data we are providing, to Facebook system that will help us in optimizing our campaigns uh, in a very better way. So this is this is what we know so far, right? So uh, one thing that we learned is we can we can set offline events as you can see on my laptop screen. We can set our offline events manually, right? This is one thing that we know manually to Facebook ads system, right? And then and then we have another method through which we will be we will be going to any uh, software or any tool right and we will connect our crm with this thing or we will upload our list to uh, this particular tool and then we will connect this tool to our facebook system right to our facebook ad system we will directly connect this tool to our facebook system now uh, this will sync the information which is there in these tools and this will sync that information with this facebook ad system right so this is uh, the automated way or the partner integration way through which we can also upload our offline events. So we have different tools for this. And uh, once we come over here, add our events manager, we can go over here. And if we go to this uh, sources section over here, right? So we have data sources and we have custom conversions and then we have partner integration. So we can integrate our uh, different tools, right? So for e-commerce things, we have all these different tools for websites. So we have all these different tools. And for customer data platforms, as I just told you, if we want to uh, connect our CRMs, right, we have all these different tools. We have Leads Bridge also, right, which is again a data connection platform. Then we have CRMs over here. We can connect all these CRMs that will help us in optimizing our campaigns or that will help us in pushing our uh, data, our uh, customer data or the different uh, or different events which are happening in a bias journey, right. So. Uh, we can we can use those different offline events right and then we have tag management assistance over here and all these different things are over here also so what we can do is suppose if we want to connect this uh, leads bridge thing right so now you can see uh, you can build custom audiences from here right whatever whatever information is there into this uh, tool right you can upload information directly into this tool and once you have connected this tool uh, with the facebook system and then you can use uh, this tool for creating different audiences for setting offline events right uh, like the log events that happen offline such as purchase and everything in your physical store so you can connect uh, this leads bridge with your facebook thing and then your data will be uh, pushed to facebook right so this is how it actually works and once we are at the leads bridge official website you can see reach your leads and customers on multiple channels right so whatever customers you have Whatever you leads you have, you have to push that lead first into your leads bridge tool right over there. And then once this tool is connected to your Facebook system, right, you can uh, automatically or you can very easily, uh, not automatically, but very easily you can create different audiences based on uh, the different uh, information that you have just entered you in, into your leads bridge account, right. You can see leverage first party data to retarget your contact by syncing your CRM. This is again a very important thing, syncing your CRM email software with uh, advertising platform audiences like Google, uh, uh, this Instagram, the LinkedIn, and right now we are talking about Facebook. Fine. Then track offsite and uh, offline conversation. So you can do all these things, right? Over 370 tools integrated and at your disposal in one click. So we, we can we can um, basically transfer our information from Leads Bridge to all these different platforms. And this time we are basically talking about Facebook, right? So uh, this is the tool that can also help us. So we have different things. We have different approaches uh, through which we can push data into our Facebook system. So whatever tool you feel like, you can go ahead and uh, see their pricing and everything and their free trial, which is there, right? 
so you can check their pricing everything if it's worthy you can definitely go ahead and work on this tool and there are other tools also as i just told you let's come back to partner integration and let's come back to segment uh, we have segment over here also and then we have zapier also so we can go ahead and uh, click on this segment tool okay you can see this one is tool which will help us to manage customers data right and through this thing we can create audiences uh, on different platforms right we can we can also import data from uh, different uh, softwares and then we can push back these data to facebook ad system or google whatever we want so we have all these different things right so as you can see from here we can use uh, uh, this data into our marketing thing right so this is how it actually works and this is how we can do this thing so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye